Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. And today, two seconds, I'm blocking Emma's view of the road. Three to one. Go, 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 go! To the moon! <laughs> Anywho, as I was saying, today we are going up to Amble to go geocaching. It's a little bit rainy, it's a bit cold, but I did promise you yesterday that I would take you out geocaching and go out and do something because, like, yeah, the last few videos have just been in the car talking or in the pub, the shed. So yeah, we're heading to Amble, I'm going to do some geocaching. Hopefully these are all uh, drive-by ones, maybe, we'll see. Not a good start. Our first one is a DNF. On the next. Yay, we've found the next one. Whoop whoop, chicken soup. At last, we've got a find. Oh yeah, nice and easy. Sign it and it's now time to put it back. Whoop whoop, chicken soup. Found the next one. The coordinates had were miles out, but we found it in the end. Whoop whoop. Check. I've said that too many times a day. I've said that too many times a day. Yeah. Well, that was a nice and easy one. Lots of muggles and horses. But we found it. Emma went out and got this one. It's a nice big one. Chris, that's what she said. Hey! hey. And straight on this one. Look at all the spots in there. Because uh, it, it was totally visible. So I'm going to try and hide it a little bit better. But I'm going to put it back where it was, but put something on top of it to hide it. Because, like, yeah, I can see it from the side of the road. This one right next to a bag of dog poo. Nah. Nice. Yum, yum. Not. So this next geocache is down this sand path somewhere and that in front of you is Coquit Island with the lighthouse and the house where the guy who runs the lighthouse lives. Now nobody's allowed to go there apart from him and uh, scientists. Well I believe that's right, I did say that on a TV programme once because there's a colony of birds or something over there which you can't disturb, something like that. I'm sure it was Coquit Island. I will check that up and if I'm right, I'll 
put it down here that I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'll say it. Sorry. A celebration box as a cash. Wow. Anywho, and then the view of Cork Island after Emma's breathing out of her backside. <laughs> In fact, I've just checked Google. Cork Island, here is some information. It's owned by the Duke of Northumberland. The Royal Society for the Protection of Birds manages the island as a bird reserve for its important seabird colony, including puffins. Anywho, it says the island is uninhabited in winter, so there's nobody there at the minute, but seasonal wardens are present throughout the summer. And I've just got a text message. <laughs> Seasonal wardens are present throughout the summer to protect the nesting birds and landing on Coconut Island for the general public is prohibited. But you can go close to it in good weather to have views of the puffins. So Terry was right. For once, like you ever doubted me. I love quick easy drive-bys. Straight to it, hands on it, on to the next. Guess what I found? Nice and easy! Look what I found! That is the last one of the day. We've done about half the ones in Amble. Uh, there's so many to get, so we will be back possibly next weekend. Whoop whoop! Chicken soup! Time for fish and chips. Had a complimentary dip to any meal. 45 pence. Well, that fish and chips was delicioso. That's it for today, folks. See you all tomorrow. Now it's time to do your job. <laughs> <laughs>